All right, welcome back to another Football Manager episode with the Beach Boys, Concord Rangers. As you can see, we're ready to line up away It's Barcelona. Um, I'll show you how I'm getting on. Good and annoying. <laughs> so I left you at the um, that Zenit game, the 4-2 win. And played West Ham at home, a game I was slightly worried about because they're sort of trying to go for European competitions, but we just we pummeled them 4 0. Much the better team. Uh, Poliak scored the first goal, Fatai got a couple of penalties, and Neguera scored a goal. Looks like the, the partnership between Neguera and Rankin is starting to come together, um, which is good. Then we had Newcastle at home again, destroyed them. Um, some of the statistics in these games are ridiculous. We just completely destroyed these teams, completely dominated. 5-0 uh, here, Lima scored the first goal, good goal, first goal of the season for him. Noguera got a couple of goals and Fatai scored a couple more, so that's two goals and four, four goals in two games for him. Uh, one wasn't a penalty as well, which is always nice. And then we played Swansea away. Um, Swansea away, Swansea were bottom. We drew this game one all. Um, it was a strange game. We conceded a penalty in the first minute, um, of which Robinson saved. But then we scored about five or six minutes later with Paul Yak. Uh, and about 10 minutes after that, Garcia was sent off. So we were playing the majority of the game with 10 men. So obviously I changed the tactic to try and play counter-attack and we survived most of the game. But then they equalised with about 15 minutes to go. Really, really frustrating. Um, we've been struggling a bit because obviously, obviously we've been missing Ben Rather, but it didn't really matter for the West Ham and Newcastle games at home. But this game it did. Uh, I bought him on because he was just about fit enough to play about um, half, of a, half a game. just didn't work. Uh, it was a frustrating game and if we'd have won that we would have gone top because uh, the team who finished, the team who are top drew as well. But I'll show you where we are in the league. Um, click on that, there you go. We're second behind Spurs. We're still undefeated. We're the only undefeated team in the division. Uh, even Man City who were undefeated for so long have lost three really quickly. Spurs are top of the league. Uh, they've come from nowhere and been on a fantastic run of form. Um, I show you their recent results. They didn't start the season particularly well. They were looking quite dodgy. Um, there you go. Look. Win, drew, drew, win, loss, draw, draw. So they were, and they drew with us in a game that we battered them. We just couldn't get a goal. And since then, draw, drawn two games, but won all the rest of them. They've been on fantastic form. So yeah, um, but they drew their last game. And now they've and then they've got Chelsea next. So that's what's going on there. Um, we're only one point behind them. Um, behind us are Liverpool and Chelsea, two point, both two points behind us, and we've got Liverpool in our next league game. So the top four are playing each other in the next round of uh, league fixtures. I'll show you here. Um, well, yeah, there we are. There you go. So. Uh, Burnley got Arsenal, not much of a game, Arsenal having a really weird season, uh, Arsenal are about as mess of a club as they are in real life at the moment in this game, they've had this. They've had about three, three or four managers in the past year and a half, yeah really bad, um, but Concord have got Liverpool, so second have got third, and Spurs have got Chelsea, first have got fourth, so big weekend, but we're not focusing on that right now, we're focusing on our game away at the new camp, uh, we've obviously got a very good record against Barcelona. Um, it says we want. Sorry, the dog is barking because it's about that time when people start to come home. So I wait for her to check it out. Sorry about that. Oh no, she's not done. She's not done. Yeah, since it says we've won four and not, you know, really won, we did draw one, draw one game as well, which doesn't seem to be counted in there, which is the draw that took us to Champions League final a couple of seasons ago. But yeah, here we go. Um, the only way that Barcelona can go above us is if they beat us by two goals or more. Um, if we lose by one goal, if we lose 1 0, then it'll go on goal difference, and our goal difference is much better than theirs. Uh, if we lose by one goal but we score, we go through on head to head because we got an away goal. So yeah, um, that's that's the only way. And if it's a draw, obviously we stay above them. 
Um, I want to play a strong team today. Uh, ben Rab has just sort of come back from injury, so I kind of would like to get as much, get him back to full fitness. Lima has been asked to play. Fair enough. I'm going to carry on playing um, Tiki Taka as well today. I genuinely, I I don't I don't know of a team that I'm I'm worried about at the moment. Um, every team we've played, we should have beaten. Uh, we've drawn a lot of games, which is the issue. Uh, but Rank and Aguera from the last episode, they weren't having a good partnership. They now are having a good partnership. So that's the difference. Um, in terms of the bench, Kwasi, Stoker, Hart. I don't need a left back on the bench. I'll put Monaghan and Hackett on the bench. Oh, no, Wars on the bench, isn't he? No, I'll put Hackett on the bench. Uh, Longello, yeah. Um, Stoker, Kwasi. I don't, we don't need Monaghan and Alfredo. And Alfredo's not been playing particularly well. So I'll put Phillips on the bench, just in case. But there we go. Lots of four and five stars there. We should be coming through this game without too much of a problem. If we lose one nil, we lose one nil. It happens, doesn't it? But oh, Apologies, I've not muted my work computer. All sorts of outside interference going on today's episode. Um, let's see if they've got any ex conquerors They have. Anthony Rodriguez, he was with us for a season, wasn't particularly good. Uh, and Alfredo Perez was on loan for us for half a season. He was very good. I liked him. And McHenry as well. So we got so they got some ex conquer players in there. I'm not sure if any of ours are ex Barcelona. Go and prove a point. Yeah. How are we underdogs? Like we've been by far and away the best team in this group. We've beaten them every time we played them, basically. Other than that one draw, which technically meant that we did beat them. So, yeah, I don't know. But saying that, Barca have got a free kick as Rodriguez is blocked and Noguera comes away. Here we go. Who's following up? Who's following up? Noguera. Ooh. Saved, I think. Here's a corner, though. Ben Raba whips it in, headed away. And Barcelona going to counter. It's Cleberson. Puts into the area. Ahead to do it by Smith. Dogs are barking again. Good for them. It's just any genuinely anyone who walks outside at the moment, which is very frustrating. Barca playing around the outside, but we're not they are not doing much with it, and they've over hit it, goal kick. Just going to check outside to see if anybody's trying to get in. There isn't. There's a blue van out there. I don't know what it's doing. Oh, it's dropped something for our door. That would explain that. Sorry about that. Uh, yes, there was a a man who wanted to get into the house. No, he wasn't really. He was uh, just delivering something. <clears throat> Rodriguez got injured, so he's not having a good time. Ben Rabba, though. Here we go. Ooh. Headed wide by Rankin. Rankin's up to his form a little bit recently. Not perfectly, but he's getting a little bit better. I've worn myself out there by running up and down the stairs. Shows how fit I am. There's Ebert. Ooh, tipped over by Robinson there for us. Is that? Oh no, it was over. It was over. We are looking. We're look, looking uh, comfortable here though. Uh, the last two times I think I've came to Barcelona, I've just um, played counter attack. But we're we're looking quite sharp at the moment. That I'm not really worried by them. Can't really see much going on here. Looks 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 like it's just petering out, but it's a corner to Barca. Oh, ahead of the way. Ranking clears. Naguera. Right, who's in support? Ben Rab is up there with you, but Naguera goes alone. There was a great ball across there available. Poor from Naguera. Playing a bit of counter-attack unwillingly here, but we are getting Paras plays. Oh, it's really poor from Paras. 
Old Concord Boy gives it away. Poljak finishes it off. Really poor from Piras there for Barcelona. Ex Concord lad. Playing the ball across. Poljak nips in. Tucks it away. He's been brilliant, Poljak, this year. Really good. I'm glad. I'm almost glad that I sold Diogo because I think Poljak's just more consistent. Lovely stuff. 1-0 up. Um, means that Barcelona now need to score three to overtake us. Actually, no. Yeah, they, they need to score three to overtake us because it'll go on sort of aggregate of head-to-head. -head. I'm happy with the points. I think they're doing very well. Keep it up, lads. Playing well. Okay, right. Um, in terms of substitutes, we've obviously... What I do like this year is that I've got a lot of young lads as options, um, but they're all very good. You know, they're all possibly challenging the first team. You know, Stocker, for example. I'm, I'm, Fatai has been amazing this year. Fatai's actually been better than he was last year. But Stocker, I'm going to bring on Stocker now, and I'm going to bring on. I'm bring on Casey Phillips, I reckon. Just as a target man, just so he can just, just throw some elbows around, annoy some people. But we're playing well. Rankin's not having a good game though. Be a choice between bringing on either Monaghan for Rankin or Hackett for Ben Raba. We've got a free kick here, Ben Raba. Head away. Brings it back though, Ben Raba drops it back to Smith. Stocker, that's a foul. He's already been booked. They're going down to 10. Oh dear. Barcelona can just never beat us, can they? Ben Rabat. Ooh, it's on target. The highlight's not over, apparently. Highlight's not over. They've thrown it. I think when they go, when the opposition go down 10 men, especially if you're winning, there's no point changing over. Troy Parrott, oh, blimey. That was a great chance. He's a good goal scorer, Troy Parrott. He's a little bit old now. Um, he's not a regen, so that tells you how old he is. Um, right. Going to take off Rankin and put on Monaghan. Uh, and Monaghan, Monaghan can play as a second striker. And with the target man, it might be useful to have him as that. So be nice for them to establish a bit of a partnership, Monaghan and Phillips. Right. Yeah, ease off the tackles. Ruben, don't want you getting sent off again. Lots of bookings in the defence there, but they're playing well. We beat him 1-0 at home. Are we going to beat him 1-0 away? I think it was Ben Rabi who scored the goal at home, wasn't it? Poljak, the other winger, scores it on this one. But we're looking in charge. Well, we're looking in control. We're not saying we're, we're dominating, but... We're doing well that we can beat Barcelona quite quite comfortably without breaking much of a sweat. It is a corner though. Can we get a second? It's claimed by Vamrovic, which means they're probably going to get a counter attack away unless we can intercept them. Come on, it's 10 men. Get into him. Oof. Oh, he's through. Oh, that's a great goal. That's going to be offside. That's going to be offside. <laughs> it was a great finish by Anil Duran. Lovely boy with something. He volleyed it in in stoppage time, but it's not going to count. It's going to be offside. There you go. That should do it. Yeah. 100% record in the Champions League again for the second year running. Barcelona. Couldn't get one up, but we've played them six times over the past three seasons, and... Five wins and one draw. We we're, we're Barcelona are too easy. Um, yeah, just be calm and say, yeah, play magnificently. I can't deny that. Just controlled the game. weren't worried by Barcelona in their own backyard. Bit easy, isn't it? But there you go. We're through to the second round of the Champions League for a third year in a row. Uh, our fourth time in 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 total. Um. But now we focus back on the league. The Champions League was a formality. We were already qualified. We just needed to get that to finish top. But we're guaranteed to finish top. They always tell me Garcia has got fitness concerns. Cool. But we're through the next round. That's what matters. 
Um, I'm not sure when the draw is for that actually. It might be really soon. If it's soon, I'll show you that too. Uh, Champions League, go on to this. Is it was a schedule matches? That's it. Schedule. First knockout round is the 15th. When's our Liverpool game? 14th. Okay, well, there you go then. I'll show you the Liverpool game and I'll show you the next draw as well. Should that be nice? Wouldn't it? Lovely stuff. Uh, I'll see you there. Okay, here we go. The dog is just barking downstairs, so you're going to have to deal with it. Um, Liverpool at home. Obviously, top top and Chelsea as well, another big game. But um, we've just got to concentrate on our own game. Beat Liverpool. Uh, Liverpool got more wins against us than we, we've played them 14 times, and they've beaten us seven times, and we've beaten them five times. But I feel like we're favourites today. We've got a couple of problems with defence and the fact that Garcia has suspended, obviously because of his um, uh, double, because of his red card against uh, Swansea. And Frith is injured, but I don't think he's got a very big injury, so I think he should be back soon. But again, it wants us to play Angulo in defence, which I definitely don't want to do, because Angulo is now integral to the central midfield. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. Play as best team as I can. Ben Rab, what are they saying for him? 75 minutes. We'll, we'll keep an eye on that. Hackett's on the bench. That's OK. Don't need Harvey. Uh, Kwasi the left winger, Stocker midfield, Hackett right midfield, we need defender, central defender. Uh, Pench can go on there. Right, there we go. Not 100%, but the, the, the guys we're bringing in, they're very, very good, so I'm happy for that. Um, yeah. It's, I'm assuming Liam is considered a better player than Harvey now. Hmm. I might play Harvey for this game because I think he's got a link to Polyak. He does. No offense, Lima. Lima's been playing very well this year. Uh, but Harvey's got a better link to Polyak, so I'm going to go with that. See what old Souza's got to say. Change mentality. Two to three defend duties. I'm not really sure about that. Can't really fit him in anywhere. But there we go. We've got two. So that's fine. Cool. I imagine we're favourites for this game. But um, you never know, and it's going to be a tight game. Liverpool have actually come from a bit of uh, poor form and actually done quite well recently, so... Have they got any ex concord players? I don't think so. Oh, yeah, Moore. Did they sign Moore? They did. Darren Moore. He was unwanted at West Ham in the end. He paid... Oh, OK. All right. Fair enough, 16 million. It's the third team he's played for since uh, leaving us. Do it for the fans. Mm, yeah, we're favourites here. Come on then. Let's go. Always good to get one over the Scousers. Um, we will keep an eye on the other. See, it's not done it that time. That's so weird. I'll keep an eye on their scores in the other games. Obviously, the Burnley Arsenal game doesn't mean much, but Spurs Chelsea does. So that's a big one to go along on. So does. Come on. Nothing happened. Oh, Spurs have got an injury. It's our oh, Serena. That's a shame. I like Serena. Obviously, had that season at us where he did very well. Right, we're in control by the looks of it. Most lot of possession, all of the shots, but not doing much with it. Uh, the possession at the moment. Spurs have scored. Spurs have scored. Okay, throwing at Liverpool. Now oh, we can with that Smith. Nice ball that. Come on, Naguera. Quite quick, Naguera gives it to Ben Raba. Drop it across. Puts it across Naguera. Oh, blocked out. Liverpool kind of. Damn it. That's annoying. We beat Liverpool at home last year, I remember, when we were down to 10 men. I think that was when Ben Rabba really showed how good he was. We beat him 3 1, and Ben Rabba was brilliant on the counter. But in the last few weeks, Ben Rabba's been a bit quiet, so um, I'm hoping that he steps up today. But we're, we're in control of the game, we just need to get a goal. I'm worried it's going to be another bloody one of those nil nils. Come on. 
Rankin and Aguero are not playing particularly well. Get creative. I'm just worried it's going to happen again. Another nil-nil. So many of teams just pitching out for the draw against us. And we're unable to break him down. But come on. All right, going to play this from the back. Longello. Nice ball. Ben Raba. Fatai, a uh, playmaker, gives it to Rankin. Nice ball, intercepted. Gone back to Fatai, who plays out wide. It's intercepted again. That's two poor balls to the wingers that have been intercepted. <sighs> McKendy, come on, get a foot in. Nice. Okay, well, the fullback's overlapped and it's worked. It's Kennedy. Come on, Kennedy. Need support. Puts it across. Poyak! Blocked. Pull back again. Oh. Oh no. Okay. Um, might have to switch up to the attacking formation now, I think. I know it's a risk, but it looks like it's going the same way as other games have gone, where we've just not been able to... Um, oh, I'm not playing Alfredo. Alfredo's been awful. Play Kwasi as Presser, because pre you can do that quite well. Okay, come on. Get creative. What is going on? Why can't we get these results? We've got a corner, though. No, we don't. Because apparently that wasn't a highlight. What is going on? No, not short pass and play. They're supposed to be playing long attack and play. All of the... Oh, okay. Here we go. Throw in. Oh, it's a brilliant save. Their keeper's keeping a minute. We've had three clear-cut chances. Their keeper's man of the match so far. Oh, no. Not again. So many nil-nil draws this year just because we've battered teams and they've come up and they've pitched up for the draw and they're getting it. They're getting it each time. <sighs> right. Um, Going to take off ranking. Again, he's really failed to impress again. I'm going to take him off. I'm going to take off Naguera as well. Um, put on Phillips. Oh, I can't believe this is happening again. Another nil-nil. Got to go for it. Yeah, push up. That's got to be higher. All right, well, that's it. That's all the cards. That's all the cards. Spurs are winning, so if they win and we draw, they go further ahead of us. We're not taking chances. It's looking like another nil-nil draw. Unbelievable. What is happening? Come on! Give me something! Not going to happen. Oh, my God! That is another nil-nil draw from a team who've just come to defend. Let's be honest, Liverpool come to defend today. Our strikers aren't doing the business. Our attacking players aren't doing the business. Ben Raba has not been as effective this year. Uh, yeah, disappointing. Not good enough. We want to be winning titles. So many draws. So many nil-nil draws. We have all, all, all but one of our draws has been nil-nil. And we've drawn seven games. Ten, 17... Uh, it's happened again. I'll just show you the Premier League. Premier League. Right. Look at all those yellow dots. Look at all those yellow dots there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven draws. Five and nil nils. I would argue that we should be winning all of those draws. Let's look at them. Spurs, nil nil at home. Mr. Penalty in the 59th minute. Go into statistics, more shots, more possession. Should have won that game. Right. Man City. Now I know this one. Yeah, we were 2 0 up. When it went when they let it go to 2 2, went 3 2 up and conceded a 90th minute equaliser. So should have won that game. Fulham at home. Harvey was sent off. Missed a penalty again. Paul Smith missed a penalty in this game. Look in the statistics. We battered him. 59% possession. 15 shots to their three. Should have won that one. Man United away. This one's a bit closer, I think, because obviously it's Man United. But yeah, quite a close game. Draw might be a fair result. Both goalkeepers played well. Okay, fair enough. I think a draw is a fair result in that that one. Arsenal, 0-0 away. This game was embarrassing. 
Right, nil nil. Kwasi got injured. Twenty shots to their one. Fifty percent, fifty each, fifty percent possession each. But we did something. They didn't want to. They played fine at the back. They didn't want anything other than a draw in that game. Should have won that one. One one against Swansea. This is bottom of the league. We were one nil up. Had a man sent off. Couldn't hold on. One one. Liverpool at home, and then the one we just played. I don't know what's wrong with us. So many draws. We're go we're not going to win the league if we carry on that. I know we're undefeated, so we can't moan that much. But we're three points behind the top, and we haven't lost a game. Seven draws, which is the joint most in the league with Everton. Mind you, a lot of teams have drawn a lot of games. Man City have drawn a lot. Liverpool have drawn a lot. Tottenham have drawn a fair amount. Disappointing lads, another nil nil draw. Don't know what to say at the moment. Draws are uh, a massive problem. Phillips isn't doing what he did at the beginning of the season. Phillips was an absolute uh, was a good substitute at the beginning of the season, but he's not doing anything at the moment. Nguera is inconsistent. Yeah, and look at those two games there. West Ham Newcastle. I thought here we go, turn the corner. Chelsea, West Ham Newcastle. Brilliant, scoring goals freely. Swansea and Liverpool come around, and we've not been able to win. Disappointing. Okay. Uh, I will show you the Champions League draw, but I'll talk about our next episode, which, well, there you go. Man United at home, 28th of December. We're coming up to the new year. Um, we've got to chase Spurs. Now, that Spurs game is late in the season. Look at that. Oh, that could be a title decider. Huge game. Oh, we're at Spurs on the 2nd of May. Uh, when are Chelsea? Chelsea are 21st of March and Liverpool Way are 28th of February. So, all to play for, but got to be putting these teams to bed. We've played everyone, everyone big around us we've played and we should have beaten all of them. The only game that I think was rightfully a draw was Man United away. That was a nil-no draw as well. But I, I, I would say... It, the stats were probably even that way because I tried to go for the win with the last 20 minutes. So it let them have more possession and let them have, have more opportunities to attack. But as I remember, I remember the highlights all going to us. So, yeah, it's frustrating. There you go. Um, I will show you the draw now. So, I don't know where. Where did the draws usually take place? In Europe somewhere, like Switzerland or something, didn't they? There you go. Champions League draw. Starting from... Now. There you go. As promised, Champions League, second round draw. Um, we are the seeded team, so we're going to appear on the, this right-hand side of the draw, so we'll have the away leg first. Let's see how it goes. Who will we play? Juventus. We've never played Juventus before. And there we go. Simple as that. Zebra. 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 Um, they're actually Juventus. Uh, obviously, Thought manager doesn't have the rights to play to event, but we will play Juventus. We've never played Juventus before, so that'll be interesting. Uh, Bilbao, I've got Dortmund, Barcelona, Man United, final Chelsea, Lazio, Bayern, Ajax, Atletico Madrid, Man City uh, against PSG, and then it'll be Real Madrid versus Hertha Berlin. Okay, entertaining stuff. Always look forward to the Champions League draws. Juventus away. Never played Juventus before. We'll see you then. When will those matches be? I imagine they're around sort of February, March time, aren't they? I'll fairly first in the Premier League, haven't I? Don't worry about Champions League, mate. We win every game in the Champions League. Champions of Europe, mate. Champions of Europe. Uh, oh, yeah, just to let you know, the FA Cup third round draw has happened and we got Arsenal again. We were knocked out of the Cup to Arsenal last year. I believe so, anyway. Check past meetings. We seem to keep drawing Arsenal when we want to play in cup competitions. I think we played them in a few cup competitions, really, in history. I'll check out the past. Yeah, Juventus, 17th of February. Oh, that could be a good one. Yeah, we played Arsenal a lot in cup competitions. Um, the first time we played them was in the third round of the FA Cup, which we took them to a replay. Oh, God. When would that have been? When we were in the Championship, maybe? Look at that. First time we ever played them, we were 2 0 up against them, but conceded two goals late on. Oh, vaguely remember that one, and then lost the replay. Uh, played them in the Club World Championship final, yeah. Somehow cruised our way to the final on that one and lost that final. Lost in the Carabao Cup fourth round, 4 0 to them. And lost in the FA Cup fifth round. So we've never, ever beaten them in a cup competition. 
We played them four times in cup competitions and lost every time. So now is the time to beat them because Arsenal are genuinely an awful club at the moment. But going on a recent form against them, it's not great. Um, we've not won one of the last three games. We drew them 0-0 in the league this year. We drew them 1-1 and lost. Uh, oh, yeah, we beat them in the league last year, but lost away, uh, drew away and lost in the cup to them. So, yeah. Uh, we are at home, though, in our home form against them. Yeah, I mean, the last three times we've been at home, we've played them a lot away, haven't we? Played them way more away than we have at home. Okay. I think all of the cup games have been away. Other than that one, one that we drew. Yeah, there you go. That's the difference. We'll beat them this time. Promise. But there you go. That's today's episode. Um, not exactly where we wanted to go. As I said, Defence is absolutely fine. We're not conceding any goals. Again, if I show you the if I show you how we're doing, on account of all the goals we've conceded this year. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We've conceded ten goals and we're almost in January. We're well midway through December. So we've only conceded ten goals this season, which is fantastic. But we've had a lot of nil-nil draws. It's frustrating. Uh, we're back in Liverpool for the next game. So the next game will be Everton and Reading. Uh, I'll play them away and then you'll join me at home to Man United. Always like to show us play Man United. Back where it started in the Premier League was our first, our first Premier League game was at home to Man United. I remember a late Daniel James winner beating them 1-0. Let's hope that we can uh, get a similar result. I'll see you then. Cheers then.